Hello guys, in this lesson, I will show you how to work with subdomains in Laravel. First of all, I linked my application with .test domain using valid link, this command, right? And now I can access my application, play Laravel .test, as you see here, instead of localhost listing on 8000 port. And also, I changed my app URL here, inside .env file, from localhost to play Laravel .test. So the first step to create subdomain is go to root service provider here under app providers and here our root service provider and you can use root domain method and write the subdomain but it will be full for example blog dot my domain play laravel dot test right and as you see here like this one I will copy this here and I will use this file for my subdomain roots this file here side roots I created this file subdomain web here subdomain web.php so if I go to access to my blog.laravel.test or .blaylaravel.test here here is my subdomain I go to my root here is my root returns subdomain another example if I access my subdomain slash test it will return subdomain or test subdomain slash test also it returns test subdomain if I go here to the main domain I have the same root but it will return test main domain without mixing or confusing between each other Another important point here, you must define your subdomains before main domain. Because if I go here to my uh, main root, web.root, I have the same roots, main domain and the test main domain. But for subdomain, I have the same root, subdomain, test subdomain. But when I define this after main domain, the main domain will be written first. So back again slash test works and back to blog slash test also main domain will return so it's very important to define subdomain before main domain like that to make this subdomain dynamic for example creating subdomain for each user only make it like dynamic parameter inside urls and let's change it for example to sub domain back to our blog for example it retains subdomain or you can change it as you want laravel dot play laravel return subdomain and to get this dynamic subdomain you can get it easily from here as a parameter right subdomain and you can return it as string subdomain for example not slash test it's here return subdomain laravel let me add space refresh and any subdomain you want ahmad for example anything another point if you want to define dynamic parameters inside urls you can define that for example id but the first parameter is always subdomain like that and the second will be this dynamic parameter here id id and we can return both of them here like subdomain and here is id is id slash test slash id3 for example as you see the subdomain is this subdomain here and our URL parameter is 3 as you see here here is how to work with subdomains in Laravel support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you in next video